We got a new poll out today. We got a new poll from the likes of Bloomberg, place I used to work. And the, the new poll actually, oddly, interestingly, says, well, we'll start with the good news. Okay, Trump is up. And it's good because you know what? Like I, I, I wear this on my sleeve. I am very much somebody who cares passionately about policy. I care about tax policy. I care about border policy. I care about economic policy. I care about trade policy. And hands down, Donald Trump is so much better on all of those policies than Joe Biden never dreamed of being. So this is good. He's way up in Georgia. He's up in Arizona. He's up in Nevada and North Carolina. Pennsylvania, though, he's suddenly tied. Michigan, he's suddenly tied. He had been up there. And Wisconsin, which has been kind of dicey, he's allegedly down by a point. Now I say allegedly because the margin of error on this particular poll by Bloomberg and Morning Consult is actually one point. So you could look at him as being tied possibly in Wisconsin. In the last several months, Wisconsin has been kind of dicey. He's been up or down a percentage point in Wisconsin. So it's closer. Michigan, I do think he's actually going to prevail in Michigan because I think a lot of the union workers there in Michigan have kind of had it with him. And I think his message resonates in part because of all the economic frustration that everybody in Michigan and elsewhere in the country, including Pennsylvania, have been feeling. But those are two battlegrounds where he's going to have to work hard. I mean, like, I, I'm not kidding. He's going to have to work hard and he's going to have to get out and do more rallies, et cetera, et cetera. I think in Arizona, issues like the border, they really, really resonate with people. So this is not um, entirely surprising to me. I still think it bodes very well for the 45th president of the United States coming back as 47. I think it's going to happen, guys. I really do. And you know what I called it in 2016? And, you know, I, I hate to call these things so early, but I think that the momentum is there. And people that are saying they're going to vote, when you look in the, the, the depths of this poll, they're saying they're going to vote for Biden. When you actually say, okay, well, why are you going to vote for Biden? You know what you see? Well, because we don't want Trump. Well, I'm sorry. That is not reason enough on a cold November day in Wisconsin to go to the polls. You actually have to believe in something. You want something to vote for, not just against. I mean, the against part. It can come in handy. I mean, think about Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump voters really didn't like Hillary Clinton back in 2016. Nobody liked Hillary Clinton in 2016 or now, for that matter. And so, sure, a lot of people went out and they voted against Hillary. So a vote for Trump and Corey Lewandowski, who ran the campaign. Good New Hampshire guy, live free or die territory. I'm telling you. These are my cop. <laughs> These are my cups, which you can get at trishregan.shop. Anyway, Corey told me, he's like, look, the reality of this was it was not just a vote for Trump. And it was because people believed in him and the economic message he was putting forth, but it was also a vote against Hillary. And so, um, that matters, but ultimately it's still the most important message of all is what you are for. And I think people are for a better, brighter economic future. They're for a more secure nation. And they're for, as a result, Donald Trump and lower tax policies and more freedom for the individual. And so good luck, Biden. Good luck, Biden, who, by the way, you know, we're, we're happy if he gets out of bed on any given day. You know, he's, he's woken up by his tabby cat. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Daily Mail did a whole thing on this. They, they profiled his day. And he wakes up every morning to the soft little purrs of his tabby cat coming in at 7 a.m. How lovely to be the president. I wake up a lot earlier than that. And trust me, it's not to a tabby cat. <laughs> it's to that big, bad alarm clock. Like a normal person, Joe Biden. You are an adult, an 81-year-old adult. Why does it feel like he's regressing all the time? He is. I'm telling you, he is regressing. Anyway... As you look at these poll numbers, it's important to also understand why Joe Biden is failing so badly, right? Why is he not doing better in places like Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina? Why is he not killing it in Pennsylvania? I mean, hey, he's the kid from Scranton, right? <laughs> Who's, by the way, charging some $500,000 a plate at a new fundraiser with himself, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton, and you get your picture taken by Annie Libowitz. Yay, 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 for 500 smackaroos. That's quite a fundraiser. Anyway, why isn't he doing better? I can tell you, one of the reasons he's not doing better is because nobody likes his message. 
on anything. And by the way, yes, it's failed miserably. None of it's worked. You get inflation up better than 18% since he came to office. Incomes are up nowhere close to that. You've got rents up 66%. I mean, this inflation's just been awful. It's one of the reasons why I keep saying, you know, you might want to look at something like gold. one 5860 Our friends over at Legacy Precious Metals, they can help you out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're worried about inflation because you're dealing with the Joe Biden economy, call my friends at Legacy. Because I really do believe that having a diversified portfolio, part of which includes something like precious metals, is something that will help you in the long run. one 589 560 LegacyPMInvestments.com.